How's it going everybody? This is Jake here with Beyond the Berm. Welcome to another tabletop review. Today we'll be reviewing my everyday carry flashlight uh, for the past year and a half. It is the Olight S2 Baton. Uh, like I said, I've been carrying it for the past year and a half or so and it's treated me extremely well. Now this flashlight features a side switch for manipulating all your lighting options and a magnetic base which is actually pretty powerful. It'll happily hold itself up, it'll drag stuff around, it'll do whatever you need it to do. Now as far as light output goes, it has five total settings. Now on setting one, which is high, it produces 950 lumens of light. Uh, that's quite a bit. Now its runtime is one to three hours on that setting depending on what battery you have and it runs on an 18650 battery by the way um, I will say one thing about the 950 lumen setting it will slowly ramp down 50 percent of its power after being on for two minutes to make sure all the circuitry stays intact it'll get hot to the point where it melts the circuit boards and all that stuff inside the, the light and you really don't want that happening so Olight designed it so it wouldn't happen um, its second setting is 400 lumens, and that will run around 3 to 4 hours. Its third setting is 80 lumens, which runs 12 to 19 hours. Its fourth setting, which is 10 lumens, that runs 95 to 144 hours. That's pretty impressive, to be honest. Um, from real-world experience, I notice a battery will last me right around a month to two months, depending on how often I use it. And as a mechanic, I use it pretty often. As you can see, it's a little dinged up, beat up. It's really nice with that magnetic feature that I can just kind of stick it to somewhere in a car. And I can work hands-free. I can use the light, have plenty of light, and uh, continuously just work and not have to reposition it constantly or worry about it falling. Um, its fifth setting is a half a lumen or its moonlight setting. That will run anywhere from 35 to 60 days. Um, that's pretty impressive, honestly, that, uh, in a bad situation where you don't have the ability to recharge your, your batteries or something like that, you have basically two months worth of lighting. Um, the pocket clip is removable. It's on there pretty good. Just clips right on. You can rotate it to any position. Um, it is IPX8 waterproof certified, so... It's definitely waterproof. You can see, I'll take the cap off for you. You can see it's magnetic as well. It's got a nice little O-ring built right into the cap. Now I will say that as far as hot spots go with most lights, um, they typically have a very direct hot spot. This is designed to have a very wide hot spot. So it doesn't even on 950, it's not too blinding. I really wouldn't recommend you use 950 in a house. Um, I personally keep it on 80 all the time because that's plenty of light to do pretty much anything. And if I want, you can bump it up into turbo mode, which enables the 950 lumens. Now, as far as controls go, it's simple. I know it's not dark. It's not even light out right now. But one click turns the light on. And you press and hold. And it will scroll through all the lighting options. Pretty intuitive. You can turn it off. Now three clicks activates the strobe and if you press and hold it'll activate that half a lumen moonlight setting which really isn't a lot of light but you know if you're really pressed for battery it'll get you what you need to do. Um, I will say it also has last mode remembrance so it's remembering the 10 lumen setting that I have on right now. So if I bumped it up to this next setting, which is 80, turn it off, it remembers that last setting. Very nice. So overall, um, it's been 100% reliable. It's been pretty brutally tested. I've dropped it quite a few times, and uh, it's stood up to pretty much everything I've, I've thrown at it. Thanks for your time. Like, share, subscribe. See you guys later.